bot. No, I've never heard of web bot. Web bot, it's like it's like it's like the modern day Nostradamus. You know what I'm saying? It's like a computer program that just deciphers a whole bunch of words of different language. Mm -hmm. Even like me and you, when we go on YouTube, when we type, you know what I'm saying? We type little comments or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This web bot is picking up on all the language that's typed up on the internet. All the different. It could be people's predictions. It could be uh -huh. people's uh, worries. You know what I'm saying? It picks up on all of that shit, mm -hmm. and then deciphers that shit, and 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 prints out its own predictions of what's to come based on the language of the, the man, people, huh? based on the language of the world. Hmm. And, and then they post that. They post that online. You you can check out web by you know what I'm saying. He throw out all these predictions. And they predict they predict the end of the elite, you know. This to to put more in the context with this web bot hmm. has done and what it's predicted. This web bot predicted nine eleven, you hmm. know what I'm saying, a few months before it happened. It predicted that. You know, just to add some credibility to it. Mm -hmm. It also predicted um Katrina a few months before that happened. So that 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 just adds credibility to the whole web bot theory mm. of people out there. It's people out in the universe, whether you want to believe it or not. It's people out there who are psychic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're in tune it's with the, 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 the psionics, yeah. In fact, there's psychics out there, right? Mm. All right. Now, what if the mass, the mass, the masses of us, you know what I'm saying, have some psychic ability, and we typing it up on the computer? You know what I'm saying? I, I believe that we oh, all no, do I'm have psychic right? ability. Huh? We do have psychic ability, uh, you know. Okay, I, so that, that would just that would just prove it even more. You I've know? seen I've seen oh, some you shit. Don't know it. Yeah, I've seen some shit. I've called some shit. I said some shit was gonna happen before it happened. And mostly, whenever I had my psychic feelings, is when I'm close to people. When I'm close to people, I can pray. If I'm real close to you, I can pretty much tell you sometimes what's gonna happen. If I feel bad about you, hear something about you, I can tell you that I think something's gonna happen and shit like that. But Everybody has that. We are yeah. connected. We are. Please. That's how we know what. That's how we know what their plans are, because we have one collective mind. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? They they got shit out there. I, I, I do truly believe they're blocking us. They're blocking our brain waves and shit. You know because. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, blocking our creative head. Yeah, they're they're blocking. We would, they, we would definitely know we were psychic if we didn't have all of this. Uh, this mind control as far as the TV and shit. That te mm. This shit teaches you how to not be creative. It teaches you how to just sit there and just and, and let somebody else tell you what's going on. You well, know? just remember what I told you about the alternate reality um, thing, the toy they got. Like I said, I can go win the Super Bowl without putting on his pads. I can play a whole season of football in three days without putting on a pad. I can, I can fly in outer space. I can... I can do all these things that I can do physically without leaving the home, but from inside my TV. It gives your brain the feeling as if you're really doing it. I went skydiving. I drive. Hey, now, now, that's yeah. that's that's truly for the people who are just straight up brainless. You yeah, know? but and see, that's the first, what the first the first level of all of that stuff you naming off was just to have a team that you like. And you root for it, you know what exactly. I'm saying? And you winning the Super Bowl and you doing all that exactly. stuff you're talking about without doing nothing. And you feel like and you're going to accomplish it. I was so bad that now they know that's what you like and that's what you spend most of your time on because you don't really want to address problems of the world. So now they just, like you said, ultimate reality, you can go do whatever, you know, all of that stuff. That's just mm -hmm. truly gone. At that point, you just truly ain't no hope for it, you know? Yeah, because, like I said, everything that a person wants to do, you can do it on a video game. Say you want to be a stunt car right, a, a NASCAR driver. You can actually drive in the same races with the actual people. You see what I'm saying? Where's the logic in that? You can actually be. A, you can sack your favorite quarterback. You know what I'm saying? You can. You can fly through outer space. What What if you are a murderous killing spree, motherfucker? You can go on a murderous killing spree on these video games. I mean, the false reality blended into the real reality has created an alternate reality and actual reality is being controlled by people from behind the booth. And if you look at all the movies coming out, they got mind control movies coming out. Oh yeah, it's always been there. And that's yeah. people consciously who are trying to awaken and, and bring to people's awareness. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen They Live? 
Yeah, They Live was one of my favorite all-time movies also. That's one of my favorites, too, you know. You know, Roddy uh, Piper and uh, the, what's that black dude's name? My wife saw him in New York when she was in New York. David Keith? <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They put it right there. They let you know, even from back then, you know, mm -hmm. and even as far as the, 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 the preacher, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Like being hypnotized, you know? You ever check but out how people talk yeah. about uh, a lot of people learn their morals from Star Trek. Star Trek always had a moral, or, you know, these TVs with shows with morals and shit. How can you teach Star somebody Trek, morals? Star Trek is deep. Star Trek is deep in the sense that if you really look at the different symbolism in Star Trek, you know mm. what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't, I remember with the actual, I wasn't really too big on Star Trek, but I seen, I seen a couple little clips, you know what I'm saying, where mm. they were talking about this type of thing where the symbol from the, the, the world Star Trek or whatever, the mm -hmm. main organization or whatever, is the same symbol as the United Nations. Ah, uh, um, or the NATO. Starfleet, the Starfleet NATO Fleet symbol. The symbol, where mm -hmm. it's like a, a star and then like the circle, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's the same thing as NATO. And, and some of the stuff that they talk about, like they play clips, some of the stuff they talk mm -hmm. about in Star Trek, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? <laughs> some of that stuff is going on right now. It's yeah. The one world and all of this stuff, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. It's like they, they showed you way back then what their plans were for now. You exactly. Know? It's coming into the age of all of that stuff, you know? But this is like they're giving you a blueprint right there in Star Trek. Exactly. What's, of what's to come. But see, but their, their, their main charter was uh, if they find life on a planet, not to fuck with it. You know what I mean? They, they they would never alter the way things were. But see, we here on this planet, we've been altered. We've been messed with. If you watch any Alex Jones, we the aliens are here and all this shit is going on. I can bl totally believe everything that I hear. I can believe every single thing I hear. But see, me, like I tell the, um, the who are the Christian people is coming to the door of Salvation Army, what the hell they is, uh, Jehovah's Witness, like I tell Jehovah's Witness, man, he told me the other day, you don't believe in the Bible, they used to come by here and give me the watchtowers, and I told the dude, no, I do not believe in the Bible, I believe in God, but not the Bible, mm -hmm. why don't you believe in the Bible, it's the words of God, and I said, has God stopped talking, <laughs> you know what I mean, God wrote the Bible thousands of years ago, and he stopped talking, <laughs> That was it. And dude, dude got mad, got angry. And I'm like, you know what? Religion. God. God is an open-minded creature who believes in love and blah, 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 blah. And God is evil. God is good and God is bad. We are men. Men are made in the image of God. So how in the hell can you tell me that God stopped talking? Mm -hmm. And the man's like, you don't believe. I haven't seen the motherfucker since then. <laughs> I pointed out, you know, it's like, I believe in the Bible. I believe in God, but I don't believe in King James' Bible. Why? Because if King Alonzo wrote the Bible, it would be in King Alonzo's image. Period. You can't believe in something, the Bible, written by God and King James. No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can't believe in any pieces of uh, articles that have been written, especially after Hitler burned books. Put it like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? They they they're making us put all of our um all of our words on, on hard drives now. You know that, don't you? We, everything we do now is on a hard drive. So when God oh, talks yeah. to me and I come talk to people on YouTube, it's on a hard drive. You don't have to burn yeah. a hard drive. An electromagnetic pulse will fry a hard drive. So all this knowledge that we're collecting right now and putting in computers and shit, they can just hit an erase button. We be back to stupid. You know what I mean? That's how it goes. He's still there? No, he's gone. Oh, he's still there? Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. It's like we we just been so screwed over for so long that there's no proof that we're not being screwed over. See what I'm saying? There's no proof that we're being screwed because it's been happening so long. It's just a normal. It's normal for Americans to feel as if they're somebody and they're actually nothing. You know what I mean? You can get up and sing and dance and do all your shit and make people happy and you're still a fucking slave. And that's the bottom line. Here in America, land of the free, 
and the home of the slaves. The free people.